Oh! There's more of them! Oh, Bezos! So, as it turns out, there are in fact more Amazon Basics pedals for me to review. So here we are with the compressor. It's got three knobs, sustain, level, attack. Pretty much what you would expect from a compressor. What more do you really need? Today I'm gonna to be plugging my Fender Player Series Strat into the compressor. That's going into the Rev D20. Got it set up for some basic kind of funk settings. Sounds thusly. Well, it did something. See what happens when we turn the sustain all the way up. Wow, really, that is very compressed. So I have now swapped out my Strat for the Kiesel Leia, which has some humbuckers in it, and I'm going into the Rev G20, which is a high gain amp. I wanna see if I can get a little bit more sustain out of the lead guitar. That knob says sustain, so you would assume that I could get more sustain, so. Yeah, goes a bit, goes a bit more, for sure. Four score and seven yours a gore. We're getting noticeably more sustain. Still not an incredible amount. Let's turn it way up. That's, that's it starts to sound bad. <laughs> Does not sound good. Noticeable tonal difference. But it does go. See what I mean? A lot of people like to leave their compressor sort of always on in a setting that's just a bit subtle but adds something. 
I think that's these settings. That sounds pretty good to me. I think this is probably my favorite of the high gain settings that we've used so far. Of course, you could also turn the level up to get more gain when you turn it on. Well, we have come to the end of the review portion of the video, so you know what that means. It's time to tear off the little rubber feeties and crack this puppy open and see if there's any fun surprises inside. Please, Dre, no! Don't expose Bezos' secrets! Shut up, Bezos! Rubber feeties, you're the one. You make tear down oh so fun. All right. There's gonna be any fun surprises in the compressor pedal. There's only one way to find out, Bezos. Wait a second. Does this one not have the New X logo? Yo, this one doesn't have the New X logo on it anywhere. What? Did they take off the New X branding or is this a different company making them? These pedals are full of surprises! I have yet to regret cracking open one of these pedals. This is the third one that I've opened and they've all had New X branding on the inside on the PCBs and this one does not. Um, I am confused. It's possible that they have more than one OEM manufacturer working for them making their pedals. Maybe they liked one of the other ones better or it was cheaper to manufacture um, so they have a different company making it for them but who knows? Maybe they're having somebody else do it or maybe they just scrubbed it. They scrubbed the evidence. Bezos, you sneaky bitch. Anyway, there you have it, folks. The Amazon Basics compressor pedal, uh, sort of decompressed, as it were. If you feel like buying one of these and you want to help me rob Jeffrey Bezos, there's an Amazon affiliate link in the description where if you click on it and then you buy this pedal, I'll get a little bit of that money that would have otherwise gone to Jeff Bezos. So it's like we're actually taking money out of Jeff's pocket together. And doesn't that sound like fun? We're like the Bonnie and Clyde of the digital age. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell to join the notification squad. Drop me a like and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what you thought of the Amazon Basics compressor pedal. I want to know and I'll see you real soon.